Very often, Bootstrap with its original look is not what we want for our project. We want slightly different colors, we want different fonts and inputs, different paddings and margins, and we don't want carousel or pagination or tabs or any other components in our final Bootstrap build. We want to be able to fully customize the Bootstrap for our front-end project. Hello guys, the purpose of this channel is to share my several years of experience in web development, help other developers to learn how to build real-world web apps with best practices. So if you are new here, consider to subscribe because I plan a lot of useful stuff here. Today we're going to set up a fully customizable Bootstrap Seed project using Webpack 4. The project will give us possibility to exclude some components from Bootstrap final build and customize remaining components using SAS variables as much as we need. The seed project is available on my GitHub account, which is on the right side, and you can find the link of this project in the video description also. Let's start. In my previous video, I explained uh, how to create a Webpack project from scratch, uh, which finally includes compiling ES6 into S5, compiling SAS into CSS, image loading, HM HMR, uh, and so on. So for this project, I'm going to take this Webpack Starter Kit project, which is also available on my GitHub account, and you can find the link of this project also in the video description. If you haven't watched this previous video, I recommend you to check, check it out. Uh, but for today, uh, I'm taking this project and using it for custom, customized bootstrap. Okay, here is my project on the left side, and here is bootstrap default uh, documentation uh, and bootstrap default uh, styles on the right side. So um, let me start the project and see. Uh, okay, I need to run in PM install. Okay, npm install finished, and let's start the project. Okay, the project was started, and as you can see, we don't have any styles at all. So I just copied and pasted some uh, bootstrap HTML with its classes here in my index.html file, but we don't have uh, styles yet. Okay, at this point, um, if we look at the package JSON, uh, we have only dev dependencies. But for this project, as far as we are going to customize Bootstrap, we need to install Bootstrap not as a dev dependency, but as a normal dependency, because we want it in the final, final build. npm install bootstrap minus s or minus minus save. Minus s is uh, just an alias for minus minus save. Uh, this will install Bootstrap in node modules and we will be able to use it in our SAS files. Now, as we have Bootstrap already installed in our project, we can start using it. There are basically two ways to customize Bootstrap. One, is just first we just need to import bootstrap in our project and to have these default styles so in style CSS file i am i want to import my bootstrap uh, from node modules so if i see bootstrap if i search for bootstrap in node modules i can see that the main file bootstrap is css file um, okay here is my bootstrap SCSS file. So I want to import file which is under node modules bootstrap SCSS and bootstrap SCSS file. So I can do this by writing import tilde, which corresponds to node modules and slash. Then I'm writing bootstrap and my ID gives me auto completion also on this bootstrap slash scss slash bootstrap. 
By doing this, I have imported default bootstrap CSS file in my uh, HTML pages updated, and I have default styles. And if I follow this bootstrap CSS file, I can see there that it imports additional CSS files, such as functions, mixings, and so on. So, um, if I want to customize my bootstrap with variables, I need to change something in variables. These variables contain basically every variable for the bootstrap styles. Colors, paddings, margins, uh, fonts, and so on. So, by start changing something here, this will affect my final view. For example, if primary color, uh, if I set primary color to, okay, I want to edit this file. Indigo. If I set primary color to Indigo and then restart my server, I need to restart my server because I'm changing file which is under node modules folder. I'm going to fix this. Uh, finally, nothing cannot be changed. Uh, you, you cannot actually change something in node modules folder. That's that's not a good idea. That's much uh, there exists much better better ideas to do so. So finally, we will do it in the correct way. Just I'm showing how you can customize it. So I changed the primary color to indigo and I, I saw how it was changed. If I change just for demonstration secondary color to red and restart my server again, I can see that the secondary button became red. But as I said, we cannot change anything in node modules folder. That's that's wrong way of doing things. So I'm gonna revert everything and show you how we can do this in our project. So in a CSS folder, I'm creating a file called bootstrap variables as CSS. And in variables, in bootstrap variables, uh, default variables file, every variable has this exclamation mark in default, which means that um, the variable is initialized only if it's not yet initialized. So this means that if I initialize my variables before bootstrap is imported, then when it comes here in its default variables file, it won't initialize this variable. For example, in my bootstrap variables file, if I write that primary color um, is blue and I need to import my bootstrap variables, of course import bootstrap variables and when I save this it automatically compiles and now primary color is blue. Um, if I change some other variables, let, let's go and see some basic variables like uh, we have gray colors, we have default colors, we have color maps, uh, primary colors and so on you can change anything. So uh, whatever you see, you can change it and you can see how it affects in the browser. Um, or you can even add some colors in this uh, color, uh, theme colors and colors or remove it and we're gonna see everything. So uh, for example, I want to change this background color. So I'm copying these two variables and uh, putting here under my bootstrap variables. And let's say that body background is um, a little bit lighter gray, not, not white. So when I save this, um, okay, I have, an, I have an error. And th this is because my bootstrap variables doesn't know what is gray 900 at all. So um, what generally do here, um, I copy everything from bootstrap variables. Uh, I copy everything here, paste, and then customize what I want. If I don't want something to customize, I leave it with the default bootstrap copied value. Uh, 
Um, that makes easier for me to search later for variables. I, I don't have to jump every time to node models variables folder to search some variable there. So uh, I copy everything there. And when I, when I do this, uh, I have a problem until I uh, import my functions as CSS. So uh, at, at, this, at this line, which is a bootstrap variables line 171, and here it is. I'm using, or Bootstrap is using this darken function. And uh, I don't have this imported yet. So in my style as CSS, I need to import these functions. If we follow this Bootstrap as CSS file, I can see that first it import functions and then variables. So I'm gonna copy this line and import functions here. And now I don't have error anymore and I can see uh, that the background color is changed. If we, we can inspect and see this also. Body, background color, uh, it's, it's not changed. Uh, because yeah, when we copied, we didn't change. Uh, so let's, let's pick some lighter gray color. Okay, save it. And here it is. As I mentioned before, you can uh, you should have a look at all, all variables and see what each of them does. You can basically find everything for border radius, for paddings, for um, border width for inputs, uh, for removing the box shadow and anything for navbar and so on. And if, if you start searching just for example, navbar, so you can see all navbar related variables are gathered together. So you can easily customize navbar when you start it, like when you increase padding and so on. Uh, let's move on and see how we can remove some components. Like if you know that you don't want uh, navbar, for example, to be in your final build, you can customize, of course, by this approach, but you cannot remove from the final build, but we want this really often uh, we don't need every component which is offered by Bootstrap. So, in my um, style CSS file, I'm importing this Bootstrap, which imports every other component. So, if I remove something from here, this will remove from the final build. But again, this, is, this Bootstrap CSS file is under node models folder. So, I want to have it under my SAS folder. So I'm copying everything, coming here and creating new bootstrap CSS file and pasting everything here. But we need to change the actual paths because this, this is not the correct path. So, tilde bootstrap slash SCSS slash, that's it. By this approach, I imported everything from Bootstrap under my Bootstrap CSS file. Uh, but my Bootstrap CSS file is not imported in anywhere. So in my style CSS, um, when I import first functions and then Bootstrap variables, I am importing my Bootstrap instead of node models Bootstrap. So right now I will have the same output, but now I can customize things from here. Like um, I can, as I, as I mentioned, I can comment this number and save it. And it's automatically compiled and my number looks completely unstyled. I can comment this nav and my nav gets unstyled. And you can basically comment uh, everything from here. And this will give you a reduced CSS final CSS file, and this will have only the um, on, only the uh, components which you want finally to have. Bootstrap offers documentation um, about theming and customization. So if you go to the official documentation and just click on the this theming. Uh, theming uh, menu item, you can see basically the things I'm talking about. 
Um, I really recommend you to check this uh, documentation, official documentation, um, and you, you will find a lot. And you can find the link of this documentation below in the video description. Now let's see how I can add new variations of components. Uh, we have button primary, uh, let's go to the index HTML, and we have these button primary, secondary success, danger, and so on. So also, maybe you don't want all of these variations. Maybe you don't want a light button or secondary button at all. Or, or you want additional variations. So this can be done by modifying the maps. So this is a map. Uh, this is map for grays and this is map for colors and this is map for theme colors. So basically for component variations, this theme colors is used. But just modifying these theme variables and adding or removing something there, uh, or more correctly, removing something there doesn't work. So we need to do it in a different way. First of all, um, let me change slightly my bootstrap SCSS because I am including functions and variables also, uh, which is actually included in style CSS. So to make it a little bit clear, so I'm gonna remove this uh, from here style and just imp imp import only bootstrap and in bootstrap CSS, I'm gonna include functions, then my variables, oops, then my variables and mixins. These three files are um, just essential files which, which don't build anything, they uh, are just functions, mixings and variables, nothing else. So, okay, and now uh, let's, let's work with our theme map. So let's, let's see the syntax. This theme colors uh, has the following key. So if I want to remove this danger and light, for example, um, I write that my theme colors um, is an updated theme colors and using map remove, I'm passing existing theme colors and then I pass danger, for example. By this, I'm saying that from these theme colors, I want to remove danger and assign it back to theme colors. So now when I build this, my danger button doesn't exist anymore. And the danger variation disappeared completely. I don't have this uh, danger alert also. Uh, okay. That's great. We can we can remove other variations like uh, light, for example. Okay, but we need to add some new variations there also. Uh, let's go to theme colors and add new variation there. For example, let's call it custom. And the color for this custom is Let's pick some color from here, maybe pink, or we can even do pink. And save it. And this will build and create new variation, uh, which we can, of course, use in HTML. So I'm going to copy this dark button and call it pink and save it. Now I have new variation of pink components. And this pink component exists also not only for buttons, but also for alerts, cards, um, and many, many, yeah, basically for every, every type of uh, component. So to sum up what we did, we created a project which uh, gives us possibility to fully customize Bootstrap. We can change existing Bootstrap variables under my Bootstrap variables uh, file and customize as we want with, the, with these variables. Uh, we can comment some components. We can comment uh, the uh, importing CSS line from here and comment some components. And we did it. We uh, commented nav and navbar. And we can additionally create new variations of existing components. 
like we created this pink pink color in our bootstrap variables that's all for now thanks for watching please like and uh, hit on subscribe buttons uh, and leave comments below if you have uh, anything to say um, thanks for watching again see you in the next time